Good morning, Leanne. It's Woody. I'm out here at 73 Churchill in Bella Vista. We're going to take a tour of this property real quick. I think you're going to like it. Here is the front. There is my car. It's got a circle drive and a fairly big front yard. There is no fence in the back, but I'll show you that here in a minute. You can see the entry to that circle drive, the garage. Let's go check that garage out. And here's the front of the house. Go look at the garage real quick. It's a garage, plenty of room for cars, which is a nice feature in a garage. All right, we'll go check out the side yard because they're actually for Bella Vista. There's quite a bit of yard here. Here on the side, there's the AC unit. It's a really pretty lot. And there's the rest of that front. Let's head in, shall we? Not great landscaping, but the inside looks really good. All right. As you walk in, you see a very big, wide open living space with a wood-burning fireplace there in the corner. It opens out into the kitchen dining area. And that's where we just came in. Go check out this closet real quick. Kind of an odd angled closet. There are the occasional, like, unfinished things here. I think they're probably still working on some of this stuff. But for the most part, it looks really nice. And as you get to this window here, you've got a decent view. In the backyard there. head over. So we've got a little dining area here and the kitchen right here. So they've done some cool stuff in this kitchen. So you've got quite a bit of counter space and then a huge island. It's really big. Um, and it's cool the way they have it built. So they have a little bench here that you can sit on the island at. And there's plenty of space for chairs here. And then they've got drawers. This is a really cool island. And then on this side, they built in the oven. And I have not seen this before. I really like this island built into, or the, the oven built into the island. Decent fridge. Looks brand new. And counter space. Cooktop is electric. It does have a dishwasher. Dishwasher. Looks brand new too, which is nice. And pretty decent storage space, especially if you count all of the drawers in the island too. So nice kitchen. And a sunroom. Bella Vista sunrooms are pretty awesome. And this is no exception. This is heated and cooled space too. And you've got a nice view right here off the deck. I'm sure if you put a little corn out there, you can bring some deer right up to your, your window here, which is kind of cool. 
And then here is the back patio deck area. Now, the one drawback here is there's no stairs to the, to the yard. So your dog would have to go out the front. The good news is, is there's actually quite a bit of lawn in the front for the dog to use. And the view off the deck is pretty awesome. If you like woods. If you don't like woods, <laughs> well, Bella Vista might not be for you. And the deck is looks brand new, so that's nice. And I'm just kind of doing a slow 360 degree view. That used to be a gas outdoor oven. It doesn't look like it's been used in some time. It's a pretty cool view out here, but again, I think your dog would have to go out the front. This sunroom is spectacular though, I really like it. Now we get to the laundry slash utility room. Helps if I turn a light on. So some neat storage built-ins here in this little utility closet. Nice sink there, and the washer and dryer look brand new as well. Here is a bedroom. Not too big, not too small, pretty average size little bedroom with a uh, bathroom. And again, nice built-ins in the closet. There's sink, vanity, tall real estate agent, shower, commode. So each bedroom has a, an attached bathroom, which is kind of cool. As we go through, here's the kitchen again. One thing I didn't show you was the kind of layout. So the kitchen opens straight up through the dining area and into that sunroom too, which is the floor plan here is very open. It's very cool. Now we'll step through to the first bathroom. Double sinks commode, tub, shower with a handheld. Decent storage space in the cabinets there. And an unfinished fixture, I'm sure they're gonna come back and put a plate over that. And then this also attaches to another bedroom. Again, pretty average size on this bedroom. Bedroom has a decent closet too, a walk-in, pretty good size, with nice built-ins. And here's the little hallway, and at the end of the hallway, you go left to go into the room we were just in, and right to go into the master bedroom. And the master bedroom is definitely the biggest of all the bedrooms. It's pretty good sized. Certainly enough space for a king size bed in here. Nice walk-in closet. Again, some good built-ins up here.
And then the master bathroom. Double sinks. Commode. And shower insert, no tub. But it does have a seat. Decent storage space in the cabinets underneath the thing. All the counters are really nice. This is a very nice rental unit. And I think that is all the rooms. Let me make sure that we've addressed all of your concerns. If you wanted a good sized master bedroom, I think this is a pretty good sized master bedroom. I don't think it's huge, but it's good sized. Plenty of counter space in the kitchen. I think you got that. The patio, the back patio is really awesome. It's just a deck more than a patio. There are no stairs down. That might be your only, your only uh, headache here. But it is nice. And the view is awfully nice. You can see a neighbor back there, but way not too well. I guess after fall, when the leaves come off, you'll be able to see them a little bit better. And then there is no fence. There is a dishwasher. And I think that really addresses all of your concerns. If you have any other questions, I'm going to get this uploaded. If you have any other questions, you know how to get a hold of me. You can call or text or send a smoke signal. I'm here for you. <clears throat> it was nice to show this to you. I look forward to helping you.